talking about experience and talking about doing things that you should enjoy or talking about doing more things that you enjoy and using the time on earth that you have to do the things that you love regardless of what they are this past weekend i also made sure that i put priority into the stuff that i like to do and making stuff that i like to put out there right so there was a night to go out on fold on friday um this really amazing electronic artist called blawan was playing at fold on the friday night right fold one of our best nightclubs here in london i was meant to go um it was a sold out night um origins one of our best promoters here in london put it on he was playing live and also doing a bit of a dj set so it'd be live instrumentation and then mix into a dj set the tickets are about 30 pounds i could have easily gone but then last minute i was like you know what scrap that i'm not gonna go instead i'm gonna book a session at pirate studios and i'm gonna record a little dj live mix and i haven't done one of those in ages I've been putting it off for a while. I've been procrastinating. I've been a bit lazy and stuff. But this past weekend, I made sure to do it. And I'm so happy I did. Because what I realized when I went to do my little DJ set over at Pirate Studios was how much I just enjoy playing music loudly. And I guess with the element of the fucking live stream, it's nice because you can basically play in front of a quote unquote live audience. And it kind of makes it a little bit more exciting because it's live and you're going to make mistakes and you're going to, you know, fix things up, blah, 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 blah. But just the process of playing in front of a quote unquote live audience having some having some fun playing loud music mixing and stuff and fucking around was something that i forgot how much i enjoyed because i hadn't done it for so long and of course the bookings in bars and clubs i used to play at before have kind of dried up post pandemic which has been a bit of a violin moment but that's still understandable but outside of wanting to pursue it as a professional career going on in the future that would be amazing i just think the option of having a place like pirate studio exists where you can basically book a studio and you can use club ready or club standard equipment and play the same way a professional would play in that sort of environment is absolutely um we shouldn't take it for granted i know i took it for granted and even though the price isn't that you know it's not cheap to go there i think an hour session at pirate is like 16 pounds or something like that i forgot how much it is but and after all bringing my equipment i've got set things up and stuff it's not the most easy thing to set up but i think apart from that once you get all that stuff out of the way i do think the money spent and the time to go there is well worth it because when i left there i was absolutely buzzing like i was had a couple of drinks i was having a good time bouncing up and down um enjoying playing the music and again it was just a reminder of just why i kind of got into this stuff just because i just like to play the music and again professionally it'll be amazing if i could you know pursue it going forward that would be definitely a good thing that i would want to do but i think just in terms of a hobby it really is one of the most um best things i've kind of done in recent years i'm pursuing something like this and just doing it as a really fun adult hobby to do because it's allowed me to be super curious when it comes to music it's allowed me to have a craft that i can kind of focus in on i kind of think of it similar to like guys because there's a lot of dudes that i know that i kind of grew up with who i played football with who have kind of transitioned to playing golf and I, I never really got the golfing but then i remember listening or speaking to one of my friends about it and they were basically saying that hey the golfing just opens up a whole new avenue of things they could get into it opens up themselves to a new social group obviously the fitness aspects of it there's a skill aspects of it also because when you start a, especially a new sport and you're really crap and then you start to get you know a bit better over time it's quite good to see how quickly or how slowly you do kind of learn and you kind of develop to the sport and over time you can track stuff and all these kind of cool things that you don't usually get to do when you're an adult you don't usually get to kind of learn new skills and find new groups of people to hang out with or even travel the world to play golf so i think the even though i don't play golf i think the djing thing as a hobby is sort of like equivalent to that for me as an adult because i don't play video games anymore it's not something i'm really probably going to get into anytime soon so to do a, an activity or a hobby outside of the stuff that i do online that i can kind of enjoy to this sort of level is something that i don't take for granted so i'm really am i'm happy that i did it so definitely check it out if you can it's available on youtube it's called test mix 64 courtesy of myself um i've also uploaded a track list for it as well so you can see all the tunes that i played over 40 tunes um unfortunately the last song bill withers ain't no sunshine couldn't be played because youtube is a bit lame and i've also uploaded it onto my um soundcloud so you can check out my soundcloud too if you want to see the audio um version of the mix as well it's available there test mix number 64 you can see that and then i think i'm going to be doing this once a month basically the live streams um 
I'm going to be probably um, switching between my two sort of like DJ aliases. So the handsome black man alias will be more so the house and disco quote unquote party DJ type of vibes. And then I'll have the Agostino um, alias for more of the techno um, darker type of stuff. Hence the picture, right? Hence me looking fucking super black there. And all you can see is my eyes and my teeth. That would mostly be the alias for the techno dark stuff. And then obviously handsome black man will be the handle for all the stuff that I'll be doing in terms of disco in the house so definitely keep an eye out for that it'll be happening every single every single month um end of the month you'll hear a live stream from me going forward with that one and i'm really happy about it and i'm really really happy about it and i can't believe i didn't do that sooner and it kind of made me realize again just in general i think i don't do this often i think most people maybe don't do it as well it really is important regardless of what kind of hobby you're into or the things that you enjoy like spend more money doing those things as opposed to doing other things and you will usually have a far happier life or no happier life you'll usually have moments in your life where you'll feel a little happier obviously sometimes things get in the way life relationships family all that stuff but if there's stuff that you can control and there's stuff that you can do that can make you a little bit more happier then why not do it even if it is like for instance i spent like 60 pounds for that fucking set right um i'm obviously i'm, I'm literally paying to play at this point but it brought me a lot of it, it made me happy. It, I, I was super bouncing around in the fucking room playing. I left the place with a big smile on my face and I can't wait to go and do it again at the end of the month. So all that stuff is good and it was £60 well spent and I think even if it was more, I would do it as well because it gave me a lot, a lot of satisfaction. So you're happy with that one. 